Hello everyone. In this video, I will try to share some information about this 20 amps 1200 watt voltage boost converter and I bought it to increase the voltage of my electric cycle. So you can see there are four terminals but these two are positive and these two are negative input terminals. These two are parallelly connected fuse and these four are input capacitor 63 volt. Here it is a battery low voltage adjustment 8 to 50 volt and this LED is the indicator for the adjustment. This is the output current regulator and here the three output capacitor each are 100 volt. So here the output terminals one is negative and another is positive mentioned in the device. Here the potentiometer to adjust the output voltage. This is a large heatsink and here a socket to connect a 12 volt cooling fan for the heatsink. Now to test the booster I using a 12 volt lithium ferrophosphate ion battery as the input voltage. And it has mentioned that the input voltage must be 8 to 60 volt. And when you put an input voltage, the LED will glow. So the input voltage is 12.9 volt. And the output adjusted voltage is around 20.8 volt. If you rotate the potentiometer clockwise then the voltage will increase and it increase up to 80 volt. So after some rotation the voltage boosted at 42 volt. Now I rotating the potentiometer anti-clockwise and see the voltage is decreasing. Now I keep the voltage constant at 20 volt. So here I using a 12 volt 7 ampere 775 DC motor as the load to measure the output current and voltage. So when the load is connect the voltage drops. Now to measure the output current I connected the multimeter and motor in series. Now the multimeter set to measure 10 ampere current. So it's around 5 to 7 ampere. Now I am rotating the rheostat clockwise maximum in the limit. When you get a click click sound then it is the maximum limit and should not to rotate more. So the motor run in maximum current at 20 volt. Now I am rotating the rheostat anticlockwise to decrease the output current. The motor runs slowly as the load current decreases. After some rotation the motor runs slowly and takes around 2 ampere. Now at the minimum limit of the rheostat, see the motor takes around 1.5 ampere. Now to test the battery low voltage production, I set the rheostat at maximum point and the output voltage is 20. Now I rotating the potentiometer anti-clockwise until the LED will glow. Now see the LED glow, it means the device stop boosting the power. So the motor runs in the minimum current. Now I will rotate anti-clockwise until the LED goes off. So when the LED turned off, the device started boosting power 
and the motor run in the maximum current. Now see the voltage in the low battery voltage protection condition. Now still the input voltage is 12.9 volt and output is also with the same as before 20 volt. So when the LED will glow the device stop boosting the voltage. Now see the voltage decreasing and it constant in at the input voltage. So the input and output voltage be the same at the time. When the LED turned off, the device started boosting the voltage. See, the voltage boosted immediately. Now you can increase the output voltage up to 80 volt. When your battery nearly to discharge, then set the low battery voltage protection to protect the battery from overload. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.